Gary Anderson looking in some fantastic form in his 6-0 win over Glenn Spearing earlier on this afternoon. Yeah, certainly Peter Wright, he won't take this, uh, this man, Wayne Jones, lightly. He doesn't take anybody. He's very professional now, Peter Wright. But Wayne Jones, he is one of the danger characters in the game. And if there's a little flaw in Jonah's game, it would have to be doubles under pressure. But if he starts hitting those, then, then you know, he can beat anybody. He's got the game to do it. And let's see if Peter Wright, his first competitive darts after that World Championship final against Van Gerwen. Four sets to little down. Everybody thought, well, this is going to be a whitewash. And fair play to him. You know, he dug deep and, and found a good few sets, but the 26 weren't the greatest of kickoffs. <laughs> yes, really looking forward to Peter Wright making his Premier League debut in Liverpool at the Echo Arena on Thursday night. And he really is someone who will get the crowds going as the Premier League makes its 16-week journey around the United Kingdom. Well, Peter Wright's first two throws are 26-27. Hopefully he's going to improve on that. And hopefully it's a bit more than 28. <laughs> Well, Jones has gone two 140s and he's going to come close to that as well. So Jones in command in this first leg, and it is a leg against the throw. He's going to get six darts minimum from one two six. I mean, just to see what Jones does. I mean, you don't have to go the 19s route. And you're this far ahead. The 419s leads you to the bullseye. Go for the treble 20. Well, he's going for those 19s. Is it a 9? He's got to stay. Well, now he's switched them. I don't understand. He should have stayed down there anyway. But he's hit the 86. So as irrelevant, he's left double top. Comfortably ahead, Wayne Jones. In this opening leg of this second round match. First blood to Wayne Jones against the throw. A very poor start to that leg for Peter Wright. An exceptional start from Wayne Jones. And you don't want to let this guy get confidence and get in front of you. He can be very dangerous. Yes, yeah, never really got going at all in the opening leg, Peter Wright. Three more matches to come tonight to complete the second round. The man who beat Peter Wright at Ali Pali, Michael Van Gerwen up against uh, Leander Hayes. Kevin Painter against Terry Jenkins. And then Paul Nicholson against Stuart Kellett to complete the second round lineup. with eight third round matches to come tomorrow afternoon starting at one o'clock local time, 12 o'clock in the UK. Well certainly while Peter Wright is indifferent on the scoring, Wayne Jones has got to punish him for it. Because there's no doubt he will get going on the treble 20 sooner or later Can't find a big treble for love nor money at the moment, Peter Wright. And again, well, Wayne Jones not really turning the screw. That's better. 
So he will be down to a finish, a two dart finish potentially. Wayne Jones to take a 2 0 lead here. Sometimes what happens, Mike, is that, like Wayne Jones, may be thinking, maybe watching Peter Wright's darts and going, I can't believe that he's playing this bad at the moment. And then it puts you a little bit on the back foot. The double top it would have been for a 2 0, but he's going to get three more darts at the tens, and Peter Wright. Well, he's probably thrown more bad darts in his first two legs than he did in the whole of the World Championships. Yes, double ten with the second dart for a 2-0 win. 2-0 uh, lead, I should say. The first to six will win. This may be the first time that Peter Wright has come and had this happen to him, where you know he just can't find the right line and length, and uh, it, it does cause a lot of frustration when you're up there because you can't work out what's going on. The dart feels good in your hand, the throw feels good, and hang on a minute, it's not going where I think it should be, and that, it, you know sometimes it won't get better because you're just getting so frustrated on it. But Peter Wright has just got to stay calm thinking right it will come good I'll play through it well I think that's probably his best visit of the match so far at ton 40 for Peter Wright and just 41 there from Jones means Wright does have a chance here to turn the screw and get a leg on the board if he can find another treble 20, it would be very handy indeed, wow. but just has to settle for a ton. Six. Well, it would settle Pitt right down to get this leg on the board, and he's turned his form around quick enough that Jones has not really got so far ahead that it'll be hard to, to drag him back. So, double top for Peter Wright. As he tries to pick up his form after a poor start to this match, after his recent standards, the standards that took him to a World Championship final. Double ten. Well, Peter Wright has, has actually changed his dart since that World Championship final loss against uh, Michael Van Gerwen <clears throat> he's now throwing a, a 22 gram red dragon dart you know he said as soon as I picked them up I knew they were right for me well at the moment they're not too right that practice board is completely different to the match board now should have busted that rather come back to double ten than double two but he may not come back another one of those big 20s for double top so can he hit the first double of this match with these new darts Peter Wright he's in the madhouse here double one much to his relief and that of the fans he has in the crowd now people watching who you know maybe play in the pubs or the clubs or just as a, a hobby might be thinking if I was using a set of darts that got me to my first world championship final why, why would I go and change them could there not be a, a risk of throwing the baby out with the bathwater yeah, 
I, th I think what has happened is Peter has changed his darts so much over the last year to get where he has. And now he's looking for even more improvements. And perhaps you're right, Mike. You know, you just level out with these darts when you've made the World Championship finals and beaten the players and won the Pro Tour events he has done. Perhaps it is a time to go, do you know what, I'll stick with these for a little while, level out at this, at this high level, and then work out how to improve them a little bit. But to, just to improve them for the sake of improvement or change them for the sake of changing them, Perhaps sometimes you've, you've got to sit back and, and, and leave it alone. But it's all about the practice board. You know, he's been playing brilliant on the practice board with him. So, you know, he feels confident. But certainly at the moment, they're not working for him. Yes, he wants the bullseye for a 1-6-1, Wayne Jones. Well, he's put some pressure on. Wayne Jones now is going to get two darts at double eight. Only needs the one and takes a 3-1 lead over Peter Wright. And there's a lot of work for Peter Wright to do. He needs to start getting consistent on the scoring. I mean, he hasn't only changed the darts, the flights is cut right down. They're like a kite shape now. And like I said earlier on, Wayne Judge is probably thinking, I can't believe how bad Peter Wright is playing. Instead of Ignoring that and getting on with his own game, he's thinking, right, but he's not taken those chances quick enough that Peter Rock has given him. When these two last met, it was back in December 2012, a Players' Championship final. Peter Wright winning that 10-7. Uh, They've met each other seven times, and Wayne Jones just nudging the head-to-head 4-3 -head up until now. And on course to make it 5-3 in the head-to-head -head if he continues as he is. Wow. And can maintain this lead over Peter Wright. The thing is with the with the right game at the moment is that because he's not pounding that treble 20 he is leaving the door open for Wayne Jones to hit a big score and then take out a shot to you know to nick a throw again he's got to be very careful Wright's very vulnerable at the moment oh, it's double 16 But he will be back to go to within just one leg of Jones with three darts at uh, double eight. Well, this is the fifth game of this evening session here, Saturday night, at the German Darts Championships coming up. In the next game, the reigning world champion, Michael Van Gerwen. And what sort of form will we see Marty Mike on? And following that, Kevin Painter takes on Terry Jenkins. And to end the night, Paul Nicholson takes on Stuart wow. Kelly. Plenty of darts left here. And certainly plenty of darts left in this match, especially for Peter Wright. If you look at the stats of Peter Wright of, of the whole, probably the whole of last year, but especially leading into the World Championships and the World Championships, his 140 count was incredible. 
get more 140s than he did straight tons, which is an incredible feat for any dart player. But today, he's, I, think, I think he's only hit one 140, you know, in these five and a half legs. Yeah, so at this level, those 140s can really make a difference. If you're consistently hitting ton 40s, obviously, compared to the tons. And that sort of form went some way to the success he had last year in breaking into the top 16 in the world. So a big, big Jones can't go out, so Peter Wright will return for three darts. Be interesting to see if he goes for the double 19 or the 632. He's, he's normally a player that will go straight at it. So I'll be looking at the double. No, he's got, obviously going six. He is going six for double 16. And hits it. So back to 4 3, but we'll need to break Jones again at some stage if he is to come from behind and book his place in the third round tomorrow afternoon against. Gary Anderson. Well, Peter Wright has made it extremely easy for Wayne Jones to have taken that 4 2 lead. But at the moment, Jones is making it extremely easy for, for Wright to get back in this game. Yes, well into our Saturday night's action here and the crowd in the Halla 39 arena. Getting well into the evening's entertainment. And maybe, I'm sure most of them were expecting something more from Peter Wright. After seeing him reach that Ali Pali final and his walk on is always going to get a crowd on their feet. And following on from that Adrian Lewis match, which was a high tempo affair. Well, the treble seven helped in as much as it's left him double top, but it didn't help to get into a check out. And Jones now. Well, he's going to get at least a dart at the bullseye. It is going to be at the bullseye. And a massive dart here for Jones. Needed that. Gives right now the chance to level a score up and get that break of throw back. Double ten for four all. Still not. So, Jones missed the bullseye. Hit the outer ball for 25 left oh just in the single nine double eight now across the ball to double four to go to within one leg of victory well i said at the start of the game mike that the one little flaw that jones has always had in his game is his doubles he's renowned for letting people off he had the scoring power to match it with everybody but yeah, a bit of scrappy for both players on the double and he's given Jones another chance and what a crucial time of the game well, Jones will feel that if he can get this leg he's got the game in the palm of his hands that's exactly what he's done yes important darts 
big moments in the game in that leg for both players. And Wayne Jones now one leg away from victory. Well, it's certainly an uphill battle here now for Peter Wright. Gonna have to find his rich fame of form on the scoring. Well, this looks a bit better. Well, the first one forward is followed by another. But it is gonna be this next leg that's gonna be the important one. The important one if Wright wins this. Because it's the leg that Jones will throw first. So 161 needed for Peter Wright and you'd make him favourite to win this leg but as you mentioned Jones with the throw first in the next leg. I really don't understand that. That, that is a crazy dart by anybody's standard. 161 and, and you go for the 25 first. You are, you are so walking the tightrope that... that Jones could have come in with a 180 there and really put the pressure on. Just hammer that treble 20. And where's he going here? 40. Oh, sorry. Sorry, we have to apologise. The scores on the screen were wrong. So, Peter Wright was going back for the right shots. And numerator score was wrong. I wonder why he was doing it, because Peter Wright doesn't normally do things like that. It kind of give it away when he had 94 on the on the screen and he went for the 14s. That's what give it away. So he's still very much in it, but uh, Jones with the advantage of throwing first, needing just this leg to win, and he really will want to make the most of that rather than risk going to an 11th and deciding leg. Well, certainly if Peter Wright ends up winning this game, he's used one of his get-out-of-jail cards. Wow. The old Monopoly board will be one less. Next up, mighty Mike Van Gerwen against fellow Dutchman Leander Hayes. Wow. That's followed by Kevin Painter against Terry Jenkins and Paul Nicholson against Stuart Kellett. which will complete the last 16 line-up for the third round tomorrow. So Jones then will have a chance to win the match from 141. So we could be heading for an 11th and deciding leg. And a massive check out this would be for Peter Wright to level it up to stay in the match. Double 18. Well, that's a good guy. Hit the barrel and it's in. Last chance. Dark chance. And he's blown it. A chance for Wayne Jones to finish this off. And it would be a good scalp for Jones. Double 16 for the match. 16 it is and out of sorts Peter Wright but Wayne Jones took full advantage of it going on to beat Peter Wright six legs to four Wayne Jones well, coming up, the final. get that cup of tea quick Finalist. don't be gone too long we have the world champion Michael Van Gerwen taking on Leander Haas and what a game we're expecting from Van Gerwen that'll be coming along very very shortly